Welcome to another painting tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at the orc uh, savage shaman on a boar. So this is what the guy looked like when I was all finished, uh, done in a pretty standard uh, color scheme using all of the new GW paints. And I've also got some of the GW tufts on the bottom there. So we'll walk through this. Um, I used some of the techniques that they suggest in the How to Paint Miniatures book, uh, namely like the face on the boar here, the, uh, the orc flesh, but I departed a little bit on the boar. I didn't really like the way that they did the uh, orc boars in theirs, but um, everything else about the same. So starting off with the boar, uh, I used Mordenfang brown for the base coat there, so it's more of a middle tone, kind of like old, the old Beastil brown, uh, maybe a little bit redder. And uh, the idea there is I'm going to use that, going to dry brush it, and then I'm going to bring it down with a dark wash. Um, so I've got uh, Bugman's Glow for the, the flesh there, and I've got the um, Orc Wag Flesh uh, for the Orc Flesh there. Also, just to note, I base coated this uh, with a dark brown spray, just a flat brown, kind of like a scorched brown or a um, dryad bark type of a color. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm continuing on with the base coats, so using... Uh, the bone color there is Zandri Dust. Uh, and let's see, what else is there? Okay, so now I'm doing a dry brush here. And so I'm using one of the uh, the dries, which I believe this one was the Longbeard Gray. So it's actually more of a, more of a, a light brown than a gray, I would say. But uh, the idea is I'm going to dry brush that on. I'm going to give this a brown wash and then uh, do a little bit more washing with the... Uh, the Agrax Earthshade. Okay, so highlighting up here the flesh, so that's uh, the Kadayan flesh tone uh, going on there, and um, got the wash, I think, on that. Okay, just trying to blend that up. Okay, so now I've started, I've given this all a wash. Um, I used the uh, Reichland flesh shade for the, uh, the skin, so basically it's all flesh tones on the skin there, and um, on here, I gave it the uh, sepia wash, which is what's that called, uh, seraphim sepia, and then what I did is use the uh, Agrax Earthshade sort of in the the deep areas there, so it gives it really nice dark tones, um, kind of preserves a lot of the dry brushing, but uh, helps blend it a bit better. So I actually uh, am quite happy with that, and probably going to do that for my Mornvang Calvary as well, and I actually have other boars, so they're probably all going to end up uh, looking that same sort of a brown. Might use a different uh, dry brush just to help the tones. Okay, so I'm working through the reds here. Um, so the two different ones there are uh, Mephiston Red and Corn Red. So Corn Red is this one here. It's more of a deep red. And Mephiston Red is going to give me a nice bright red there. Also for the, the blues, um, I'm using uh, Calder Sky. Uh, that's going to give me a nice bright blue. And over here, this is Steel Legion Brown. Is it Steel Legion? Steel Legion Drab, sorry. Okay, so now I've moved on to all the washes, so I've given everything a dark wash. Oh, just to mention, these uh, kind of, I don't know, I, th I thought they were kind of scales. I gave those uh, Incubi Darkness, uh, so they're going to be a greenish tone. And uh, on the back side there, and you can see Wurzag, I did him at the same time, um, I'm doing that, the Stegodon Scale Green. Okay, so the washes uh, there were the uh, Kaborg Crimson for all the reds, uh, for the Blues, that's the uh, Drakoff Nightshade, and uh, this is uh, all of this here was done with the, um, oh, not the Flesh Shade, it's the uh, Seraphim Sepia, I already mentioned that. Okay, so there you can see there's the, the, the blues and sort of the greens there, and you can see how uh, everything just gets really toned down. I missed some red there, I'll come back for that. And uh, now I'm starting to do the, the highlights here with the... Uh, War Boss Green is the next thing on there, and uh, I'm going to be highlighting that as well with uh, Skarsek Green. So uh, building up all the highlights, kind of doing the greens there first, and then I'll be moving on to all the other areas. And there's the Skarsek Green uh, all done. So you can kind of see how I've done that. The, the darkest area you can still see around the edges. Try to layer it up, just leaving a bit more of a halo around things and focusing on all the, the raised areas. And a bit of close up. Okay, so now I'm working on all of the, the bone here. So that get the that had the uh, sepia wash and then it's the Ishbudani Ish 
Ishbanti, I don't know, whatever the bone one is, and Screaming Skull will be the final highlight, which is just an off-white. So just trying to paint on all the bone areas there. Uh, lots of bone on this guy. And you can see in here as well, all that. There's the uh, Incubi Darkness with Cabalite Green and Sabarite Green kind of uh, highlights there. So edge highlight just at the top one and trying to bring this, the, uh, the blending in there as well. Now I'm working on the reds here. You can see that those highlights going in there. Um, just trying to paint those on the raised areas. And uh, the only rhyme or reason to the colors is kind of uh, in terms of volume and how deep it within the model is. So you try to work from the base out so that the deepest areas that are going to be hard to paint later and uh, also looking at the the largest sort of surface area working down. So I guess blue probably had more but didn't do that first. So not that there's always a good rhyme and reason to it but uh, that's kind of the general idea. Here you can see that um, Stegadon green, uh, Stegadon scale green, Sotek green, and uh, Temple Guard blue. It works up there. And uh, the areas that you didn't see were the, the blue uh, on all these sort of the war paint. So this one here actually has raised war paint, which I like. Um, makes it a lot easier. And uh, did these some eyes in there. Did a little bit of gold on some of his jewels. Um, not much gold on there. And also highlighted up this little uh, squig here which had the uh, corn red, wasdaka red, and squig orange. And I think that's about it. Um, some of the, actually this leather here was given that uh, steel legion drab, Talaran sand, and Carrick stone. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, so I have bone, flesh, uh, fur, uh, leather-ish stuff, uh, orc skin, blue uh, war paint and um, the reds so yeah there's a whole lots of different colors but uh, when you break it down it's not uh, not overwhelming and I, as you saw in the background I did Wurzag at the same time as this and I'll be posting a video for that shortly um, you may be seeing this in different order but whatever so yeah if you have any questions comments or uh, otherwise statements about this please feel free to post comments check out my blog it's like watching paintdry.blogspot.com um, subscribe to this channel if you like and like it and share with your friends hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time